Hey guys, welcome back to Twin Tears Homestead. So the other day, I had somebody contact me that I've um, I've known, I've worked with a little bit, and he asked me if he could drop off a load of wood chips here. So as you can see, we've got a pretty good sized load of wood chips sitting on our driveway. We're gonna take these and we're gonna throw them into the chicken house and create a deep bedding in there for the chickens to have over the winter time. So Liliana's out here already climbing on them. Uh, the rest of the game is going to be coming out. We're going to throw them into the cart, take them inside the chicken house, and just dump them. And then we'll spread them out. Our goal is to get about a foot, 12 inches in there. And, uh, yeah, so we've got, you can see some rain clouds coming around in the back end. We have a little bit of time before it gets dark and before it rains. So we want to get these in there so they're not soaking wet uh, when we do go to put them in. So just uh, stay tuned, I'm going to put this camera up and you'll watch our progress.
Yeah, it's far away right now. I saw one earlier, but that was no fun there. That means it's gonna rain soon. No. Not till about 11 o'clock. Wait, so we have lots of fun It's gonna rain later. We have lots of time then. Yep. But if we don't finish it, well, we have to finish it tomorrow. It's going to rain. Turn the outside light on the barn. The front of the porch truck. Right? Thought we were getting it towards fall weather, but we've creeped back up into the low 80s, as highs. So it's a little steamy out here. As I mentioned earlier, it's going to rain. Doing all this uh, shoveling, it's a bit tiring, but it's good.
Pretty good? Yeah. All right, we're done. Uh, I would imagine it's probably about 8.15 out here. Um, maybe not that late, but sun's setting earlier this time of year. So I'm gonna take you around the back and show you these birds waiting to get into their, into the chicken house. Whew. That was a lot of work for a short amount of time. It's gonna get a little dark as I go around the corner here. Yeah. So, it's a little bit dark. Can't really see. It's only about half of them. I wonder where the other half are. We'll go inside and show you what it's like inside now that we've got all these chips in here. Alright, so we've got about 12 inches of deep bedding here that'll last some throughout the winter. Uh, Got a little put a, a, we have some boards along the bottom here to keep the chips from coming out when we open the door. I gotta put that back in. But, gonna open up these doors and let these chickens come in because they are ready for bed. They're like, it's about time. Said it's about time. We didn't put their feed back in, Billy. <laughs> Eliana, can you reach that chain up above the doorway there? Come on, why don't you hang their feet up? Is there a hook on there still? They're still making their way in.
Yeah, you can go inside. You girls can go inside and start getting cleaned up, okay? Showers. The door's pinned closed. So if you're wondering why we have a raised doorway off the floor, it's because sometimes the chickens will sit on the floor in the winter time and we used to have a door down below here um, and we had a couple of chickens that would sit in that doorway some were caught outside couldn't get in and, and we had one that was that froze to death so to prevent that what I did is I closed off the bottom and then put a door up above there's a ramp outside just like you see here so they're forced to go up the ramp then they won't sit in that open doorway because how it is and then they'll come down down the ramp so that's just a way to prevent that from happening now if the chickens are on the in the winter time when we close this other door over here that's never open so if they are sitting on the ground the wind is coming in it's not blowing right across them and we also close off these upper windows with plexiglass in the winter time allows sunlight to come through but it stops the wind from coming in on super cold days we just don't open this doorway if there's a lot of snow out there they're not going to go out anyways and it just doesn't pay to keep that door open um, we generally don't heat our chicken house unless it gets down to negative temperatures and in that case we have two heat lamps that are tied to a thermometer and we have it turn on and off uh, as needed all right folks so we're all done here all the chickens are inside um, we haven't done a count of see how many we have lately but we should be close to I'm talking here we should be close to around 60 uh, but I'm not sure we seem to have lost quite a few of the ice browns lately they're up there on their roosting roosting posts and they'll stay there for the night well, occasionally we have some that do sleep in the nesting boxes we don't close those off uh, at night so some will get in there and sleep all right folks hopefully you enjoyed this video if you do give it a thumbs up and smash that like button and feel free to share with others and we'll see you on the next video bye